Hello, everyone, and welcome. Dave Spadaro, Eagles Insider, with Glenn Mack now here to talk about the Eagles quarterback picture today. Well, really, of days past. As you know, Carson Wentz down for the season. Nick Foles steps up. And for all of you doubting that it can be done, well, in fact, it has been done with the Eagles three times, as we'll go through the list right now. All right, here we go. And you're going to remember all of them. Everybody's going to remember all of them because they're all fairly recent within the last 15 years. And the first one, let's go back to 2002. Young Donovan McNabb having a great year. And you remember the game here against the Cardinals. He throws four touchdown passes, limping around. Turns out afterward we learned he had the broken ankle. Yes. So he goes out next week, Monday Night Football. Coy Detmer comes in, plays well, and then... Gets hurt. He gets hurt. Carried out, down, carted off the field. Right, the elbow. Candlestick Park. Yes. A.J. Feely comes in, and A.J. Feely goes 4-1 and one in his five starts. Gets the Eagles into the playoffs where Donovan McNabb comes back, beats Atlanta, and they lose to Tampa. But A.J. did his job. He, he, he didn't turn the football over. The Eagles had the number one seed going into the playoffs. That was his job. Yeah. Yes. You feel good. Feeling good. All right, here Feeling go. better. There you go. Number two. 2006, the Eagles go 4-1 and one to start the season, but then they slump, kind of, I think they were 4-5 and five at one point. McNabb tears his ACL against the Titans in mid-November. He's lost for the season. Everybody remembers this. Jeff Garcia comes in. Love Jeff Garcia. Right? Leader how, of men. Yeah, how good was he? The big he, Christmas. Eh, Merry Christmas, Philadelphia. Right, beats After the beat Cowboys. Cowboys yeah. Right, wins five straight. And the other thing about that year, that was Brian Westbrook's breakout year mm -hmm. with the, the 1,200 yards. But Bar Garcia became the first quarterback, other than Donovan McNabb, to win a playoff game since Rodney Pete in 1995 when he beat the Giants at the link. Dave, it can happen. Number two. Now let's get on to number three. I agree. All right, number three, fresh in our memories, 2013. You might have to help me on this because mm -hmm. Mike Vick starts. Not 2000 and, uh, 2013 or 2010. 2013, okay. Yep. He gets hurt. Foles comes in. Yep. He gets hurt. We get a little Matt Barkley. Yeah, yeah very little Matt Barkley. Right, a little bit. Then back to Vic. Then he's out, a hamstring, and then back to Foles. And Foles tears it up. 27-2. That, that's it. The Pro Bowl season for Nick Foles. The best touchdown interception ratio in the history of the NFL. They win seven of the last eight games with Nick Foles. Play New Orleans in the playoffs. Now, they lose that game. But to be fair, Nick Foles was left, very good in that game. He left the field with a lead. Kickoff, return, penalty on the face mask. Set the Saints up for their game-winning drive. So, we have – and also 2010. Yeah. Let's be fair. Kevin Cobb started the season. Michael Vick came in and had a Pro Bowl season, taking the Eagles to the NFC East title. Unfortunately, a loss to the Packers in the playoffs. So – it can happen. Absolutely. And this team this year is a very good team. I'm Backups. Not, I'm not a cheerleader by nature, but I really, again, they lost the best player in the league. They still got a shot. Next man up. It's worked in the past. Let's hope it works again for the Eagles and then some in 2017.